Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this pop effect. Okay, to get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline, as well as an image clip of this arrow on the track above that I'd like to add a pop effect to. First, we'll need to resize our image, so make sure your image clip is selected on the timeline, and then go up to Filters. Click the plus button, and under the Favorites section, select the Size, Position, or Rotate filter to add it to your image. Okay, now you'll be able to use the handles to resize it in the preview, and to reposition it in the frame, just drag the middle circle. I'll also drag this top circle to rotate my image since I want the arrow pointing at the dog. Next, let's animate our image by first positioning the playhead to where we want our arrow to first pop into the frame. Then click the stopwatch next to these top three properties to create a starting keyframe. Change the zoom to 0.1 so that your image completely disappears. Then move the playhead about 10 frames forward. Increase the zoom so that it's a little bit bigger than what you want the animation to finish at to create a second keyframe. Move the playhead about another 4 frames forward. And then decrease the zoom so that the image is at a size you're happy with. Okay, now when I play this back, I have a nice looking pop-up effect. Keep in mind that you don't have to stick to my exact frame spacings. You can drag the second and third keyframes around to speed up or slow down the animation. You just want to have a bigger gap between the first and second keyframe than the second and third one. Now, if you want to pop your image back out at some point, just move the playhead to where you want to do that and then click the stopwatch button on your keyframe layer to create a keyframe for the current position. Then move the playhead about 4 frames forward and increase the zoom a bit to create your next keyframe. And lastly, move the playhead about 10 frames forward and set the zoom to 0.1. Now when I play this back, my image pops in, and when it hits that second set of keyframes, it pops back out. But that's it for me, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.